Hey guys, what is up? I was literally just about to go to bed when I saw on Twitter that the Welcome to Raccoon City Resident Evil official trailer has dropped. Um, I'm just going to be really brief with a little explanation here. Um, I have not followed anything about this because if I, you watch my other things, I try not to watch too many things because then my mind gets too hyped up and uh, I just don't want to research stuff before I see it. I just want to see the original trailer and get vibes from it that way instead of like looking up everything and being on Reddit subreddits for stuff of like you know movie stills and like secret leaks and stuff I don't want any part of that I just want to like look at the trailer have the feelings that I feel and then watch the film and then decide then how I feel about everything but um so forgive me if I don't know every character in this and who plays them I only know the Claire and um Leon just because it was all over my Twitter feed when they announced those two because everyone freaked out about Leon like and like Carlos Anyways, um, so let's just watch this and see what's up. Come on. Every story has a beginning. There's already so much going on. Discover the origin of evil. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why are you back here, Claire? Your conspiracies weren't true when we were kids. They're not true now. We need to expose Chris, Umbrella. Though. Watch this. Expose Umbrella. I'm afraid, Claire. I'm afraid of what they're gonna do to this town. You see, Umbrella, they have an incident. I'm talking to Chernobyl. Oh, he's you know this? what I mean? People are getting sick. Ah! You gotta help us, Claire. Let Look the world drunk. know what's really going on. Ah! Is that the cop? We have to contain this. Shall we go? What's going on? <laughs> no. Ah, oh, the Spencer Mansion. Oh. Is that Wesker? It looks like Wesker. No. What were Umbrella doing here? This is where they're experimenting on him. There's so much going on in there. Split up. Split up. Are Um. Oh, it's gone. Oh, yeah. That's pretty awesome. Down. I like can't even. I can't even talk. There's so much going on. They just showed us that. They already showed us that. They're using the Walking Dead font. Oh, this is weird. Um. All right, deep dive time. I don't know how I feel about this. Hang on. What? There's a lot going on. Uh, was not expecting that song. <laughs> That's such an unlocked memory. <laughs> I have not heard that song since the 90s. I said, hey, what's going on? Okay, play. Come on. I like the Kill Bill helmet. It's not Kill Bill, it's just Claire's helmet. I love that they use that zombie. I hate that they wasted it at this intro. It would have hit harder later on. I love the liquor. And this is Leon. I've been on Twitter enough to know everyone's joking that he looks like Carlos because he literally looks like Carlos. So it's kind of hard not to make that comparison. I love the liquor. The liquor looks great. The jacket's great. I think what my overall feeling is watching it is that this looks really cheesy and not like an actual movie. This looks like a fan movie. I mean, this obviously isn't because there's big budget production here with the cars and everything. And there's obviously a lot of CGI. But like this, like why are her eyes so blue? Discover the origin. Uh, Chris looks great. That looks like Chris. Like her, like look there. It's like, I don't want to like crap on people like acting and stuff. Like if it's supposed to be, unless it's supposed to be cheesy. I have to think about, like, I just watched Malignant. 
two weeks ago or something. Like I said, I've been going into things blind and not trying to look up things and not have anything blown for me. So like Malignant, because it's James Wan, I was assuming it was going to be on par with Insidious Conjuring. Conjuring messed me up. Like that first movie scared the hell out of me. So I was like ready to buckle in for that kind of experience and not uh, 80s vibe horror flick, which is Malignant is definitely like, it obviously has core horror. It's just a different kind of film. And I wasn't ready for that kind of film. So I feel like I need to watch it again with the knowledge now that it's like not going to be like Conjuring or Insidious. I'm wondering if this is the same thing, because if you think back to the freaking first game and the second game, it was cheesy. Like you look back at that old trailer, it's cheesy. The lines, Jill Sandwich, cheesy, like things were cheesy back then because the voice acting was terrible and... It's how it was. So I'm like, are they staying so true to the original games that it's supposed to be a little cheesy? Because like what I'm seeing right now with the acting and stuff, I'm like, (sighs) I'm not feeling it. Obviously, they have a bunch of references in here, though. But I'm going to shut up. Let's keep watching it. Okay, is he Wesker? He looks like Wesker. 100%. Okay, so that girl's supposed to be Jill. She looks nothing like Jill. He looks like a typical 90s. I don't even know what character that's supposed to be. Is that supposed to be Barry? I don't even know. <laughs> what is this creature? That's creepy as hell. So Raccoon City to Police Department. So yeah, the second one. Carlos. I mean. <laughs> I'm going to get shit for that. Leon. That's Leon. Why are they so sticky? Uh, the red eyes is interesting. Touch. <gasps> There's a dog behind him. I just realized that. There's a dog in the car. Yeah, the CGI is not looking great either. So either it's on purpose or is this low budget? But it's from Sony. It can't be low budget. I love the hands through the windows. This looks like that jerk off police um, irons. I love the dogs though. Every time I see them in real life, it makes me so happy. We've got the cheesy. It's almost like, not cheesy, but it, it is cheesy. It's like Walking Dead slash Dawn of the Dead kind of like vibe. The song is such a freak. It's just like, that looks so cheesy. Like, we have to contain this. Oh, that looks like the freaking armory, though. Okay, I don't know who half these people are, but here we go, Spencer Mansion. Who is that? Birkin? Who's that? But it looks like it's going to have, like, the original vibes to it, for sure. Because that's what Malignant was. There was, like, moments where, like, Malignant was, like, super... The acting was amazing. And then there were times where it was like, dude, this is so hokey. And then, obviously, after watching the movie, I was like... Why is everyone making such a big deal out of this? And then I looked it up and I was like, okay, it's supposed to be. Get it now. Look at the library. We should split up. (laughs) Jill Sandwich, where are you? Obviously, she looks nothing like Jill. But Claire doesn't even give me Claire vibes, even though she's the closest thing to the original. Other than Chris, I think. Mansion looks great. Can't complain about that. Um, I love this reference so much. I wish I didn't see it in that little preview. Itchy, tasty. I don't know. This chick reminds me of that um, horror movie with the Alzheimer's patient girl. Fear the Walking Dead. This dog literally looks like old school graphics. Obviously, it's better. But a little um, hokey. Or we were just spoiled with CGI. So, oh my gosh! Ta-da. I mean, maybe... When does this come out? November? I don't know. The liquor looks great to me. The liquor looks the best to me. For sure. Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. Like, even that's, like, very, like, the Dawn of the Dead, like, cheesy. But the Dawn of the Dead was, like, funny. So maybe this is supposed to be funny. Like, you can't take it yourself too seriously type of situation when it's, like, you look at the, what it's based on. There are a lot of really bad, cheesy moments in those games. So maybe they're trying to, like, do a twist on it. I don't know. Let's look at the comments. This is so faithful to the original material that they even recreated the cheesy acting. <laughs> 90s visual effects, Pinky. That trailer song has got to be the funniest effing thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Exclusively in movie theaters. Could have fooled me look like a trailer from something going straight to Shudder. And Salty Leon doesn't look like Leon at all. It just isn't him without his emo haircut. Claire having to convince Chris effing Redfield that Umbrella is evil. Okay. It's nice to see young Carlos playing Leon. He would have been a perfect Carlos. Like, he's perfect. This guy's all for it because of the direct callbacks. Uh, I didn't have high expectations. I had high hopes and I'm not so sure. I don't know. It might be like, like I said, malignant thing. It's you tasty from the Keeper's Diary and Ari. 
I don't even remember that. The last time I played the first game was forever ago. I don't own the first game. And I played, I haven't played it since my PS3. I haven't played the remake since PlayStation 3, and I haven't touched my PlayStation 3 in a very long time. I mean, it's not the Mila Jovovich films, obviously. Those are just like such a separation. They went like so in the, a different direction, but um, Leon has a consistent look in every other media. This movie, mustache. Um, I mean, I get wanting to like switch it up and stuff, but we still haven't even got like a good, all the cast. I mean, the Mila Jovovich films were like, they just weren't great, to be honest. I thought that was Chris was fantastic. That Jill was fantastic. That Claire was fantastic. So they're, they're, they do exist in other media. It's just not like what we wanted. If you know what I mean. Okay. Well, we'll see. Maybe we'll all be proven wrong. It'll be a surprise and it will be fun. I don't know. I hope to be wrong. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave your comments down below of what you guys are thinking. I, I can't be the only one thinking this because obviously those comments mirror my opinion and thought. So we'll see what happens. This is why I don't research stuff and get my hopes up on things anymore. So I'm not feeling too bad about it. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.